Welcome to Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. This podcast is for women over 40 who are ready to ditch the diet mentality and get answers to why you do what you do so that you can not only achieve your weight loss, but you can keep it off for life. I'm your host, Nicole Simonin, and welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. Hey everybody, welcome to the Shape It Up podcast. Today we are talking about why you aren't losing weight when you're over 40. Um, So if you're new to the podcast, thank you so much for being here. I am so excited. I think we're on episode number five and I've got lots of great content coming up for you and some great special guests that are also in the mix and I hope that you will stay and continue to listen. So why you aren't losing weight when you're over 40. So as I was thinking about this podcast today, I went to the internet and I kind of started searching for different ideas and different topics. And um, I kept seeing videos and posts on how women over 40 can't lose weight because they've had kids or things are different now that they're 40 or that they're older and basically all doom and gloom. And I want to let you know that that couldn't be further from the truth. Um, I am sure if I continued to watch or read whatever I was looking at, they probably had this magical exercise or the perfect potion that you need to take in order to lose weight over 40. But I just couldn't continue reading. Um, There is a lot of misinformation out there and there's a lot of information that is... Um, hypes up and unnecessary, I think. So, because weight loss, actual scale weight loss, is really simple. It's calories in versus calories out. We all know this. It has been proven over and over again. And we know that we need to move more and eat less than we are burning in order to make that scale number decrease. Now, this does not take an account for how you actually want to look. What I mean by this is you can lose scale weight, but you're just going to look like a smaller version of what you already are. So, for instance, if you have a really small torso and very wide hips, if you lose scale weight, you're just going to make all that smaller. So you'll still have a small torso and you'll still have bigger hips versus your torso. Um, And... I think um, at least most of the women that I talk to, they want that lean toned look. Uh, And in order to get that, you need to incorporate resistance training. So this is typically the look that most women over 40 are going for, not just to lose scale weight and look like a smaller version of whatever they are. So if you say that you want to lose weight, why are you not doing it? What's holding you back? Why are so many women over 40 still struggling with their weight? Why can't they lose it? So yes, exercise is important. And yes, nutrition is important. But after working with over hundreds of women, I feel that there's really a third element that's missing. And I kind of like to call it the trifecta. So we know number one, we need exercise, right? You need to move more. And number two, you need nutrition. You need to eat healthy quality food that's going to fuel your body. Number three is what fills in the gaps between where you currently are and where you want to go. This is your mindset. So what do you think about when it comes to weight loss? Why you will, or more importantly, will not take actions towards your goals? or why you take some action and then you stop and then you restart. This is all based on your mindset, what you're thinking and feeling and doing or not doing. So clients come to me when they're really frustrated and they're typically spinning their wheels on diets and the next latest greatest workout program or when they've worked with a trainer who constantly gives them a beat down workout every single time they show up. Um, What's missing is your mindset. I feel like your mindset is the secret sauce to getting the physique that you desire. So this month in um, with my clients, I offered them a challenge and the challenge was really 
challenging. It was very hard and it really made some of my clients very upset. <laughs> so, but the interesting part was it was a, a food challenge, but the reason why I did this challenge was not so much the food, but what mentally they would do with this challenge. So the challenge was intentionally to evoke strong feelings because when these feelings come out, that is when you find out what's holding you back. That's what you find out where you're being resistant and why you're not doing what you say you want to do to get those goals. So you can lose weight when you have the right mindset tools in place. The great thing is that once you have these mindset tools for weight loss, they help actually help you out in other areas of your life too. So if you want to get a sneak peek at how I incorporate these tools and how you can learn to apply these tools to your weight loss, you can get an exploration week. So you can do it just by requesting a free consult with me at shapeitupfitness.com. So here's a quick test to see if you need these mindset tools. So number one, do you feel comfortable in your own skin? Number two, are you tired of dieting? Number three, do you constantly lose weight, then gain it back again, then lose it again, then gain it back? Are you ready to really change? So if you answered yes to any of those questions, seriously, go grab an exploration week here at Shape It Up. Check it out. Um, so I'm going to leave you with this tip. If you have told yourself that you want to lose weight and you're not achieving that, I want you to write down the reason or reasons why you haven't. Just write it on a piece of paper and see what comes up. Um, all right, so if you want to take that sheet and share it with me on your free consult, you are welcome to do that. You can request one at shapeitupfitness.com. And thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Hey, if you want to find out why you aren't losing weight, grab your exploration week by requesting a free phone consult at shapeitupfitness.com.